Logic is a very powerful tool. There are so many buttons that are hidden in the background that will allow you to be even more creative than you thought you could be. To start out with, we're going to learn how to record a drum groove using the cycle mode. To record in cycle mode, you must turn on the cycle mode first, add an ultra beat track, press record, wait four clicks, and then begin to play the kick drum. On the second pass during the cycle mode, you will get an opportunity to play the snare drum. It's a pretty simple layering technique. my second pass doing the snare drum. On the first pass I recorded the kick drum. On the second pass I added the snare. You can continue to layer and layer different instruments as long as you like. I can open up the piano roll at this point and I'm able to actually see the work that I've just completed. If for some reason my playing isn't exactly accurate or lining up with the grid I have the option to quantize my music. That will automatically make my groove line up to the grid and probably sound a lot stronger. Now, the new stuff that I learned. If you right click in this upper area after you've opened up this toolbar, you can add new functions. And I'm going to add what's called Note Repeat and Spot Erase. The Note Repeat is a really cool tool. When it is turned on and you play a key on the keyboard, it repeats the note. The dialog window will open up that looks like this. And to start out with, it's a little bit smaller. So it's going to say my rate, how quickly are these notes going to repeat? It's by the 16th note. If I wanted to do, for example, add the hi-hat on the top, usually hi-hats are eighth notes, which are basically every other block in our editing windows usually. And so I find my hi-hat. And this time, all I have to do is hold down one key, and I'm going to get a really accurate hi-hat recording. And there I have it. And there's my hi-hat. And you can see on this grid, it's right on the money. What I'm going to do now is just have a little fun. I'm going to leave the repeat function on, and I'm going to play notes at random to get a kind of an interesting little sound on top of my file. Here we go. You can see the possibilities. It just makes my groove start to sound more and more interesting. So say you want to have a little bit more control. You can click on the little triangle on the top and more dialog boxes open up. By selecting the modulation wheel, you're able to select the slowest value and the fastest value that can be changed by moving the mod wheel which is on the left side of your keyboard. For our purposes I will select the eighth note as the slowest value and the fastest value I'll go up to one 256th note which is probably a little too fast but let's see what actually happens. I turn on note repeat Wheel. I'm going to add another layer now using the mod wheel. That time when I went through and I added that little bongo. It got a little too busy here for me. If you listen to it, it gets almost too fast. So what I want to do is I'm going to do what's called spot erase. And I turn on spot erase, and if I hold down C2, anytime I hold it down as this track is going by, it will delete notes. Spot erase. Press play, and then hit the C note as it goes by. Watch the notes disappear.
So as it went by, every time I pressed down that particular note, C2, the notes that I had programmed disappear. So you make a mistake, just hold that down. During cycle mode, it'll delete the track that you didn't like, and then you can go back, hit note repeat, and you're off and running. It's a very powerful tool. Now, if you want to do this on the fly, you can open up what's called Key Remote. And on the bottom of your keyboard, you can actually change the value by striking one of the keys that corresponds to the note value. So if I hit this particular C minus one, watch what happens up here. That was the next C2, D, E, F. I can change this on the fly and actually change how fast or slow the notes are being played. Let's see what happens when I mess with that. I'm now gonna use the keyboard to change the value of the note that I'm playing as I'm recording. A nice little trick and I created a very very interesting sound just by changing these keys on my keyboard with one hand and the other hand just holding down the note of the sound that I wanted to hear. So this note repeat spot erase is a really powerful tool to be able to start to program your drum grooves on your own.